Hey, welcome back to Rob's Garage Woodworking. Today I'm just going to talk a little bit about the uh, difference between fiberglass pink and Roxol insulation. So Roxol is a little more dense. It's a little thicker, heavier. Uh, fiberglass pink is very light. Um, this, um, it's not as much fun to work with. The fiberglass pink, it makes you itchy. You want to wear long sleeves and stuff. The Roxol also, to, but not to the same degree. All right, uh, fiberglass pink, it's um, almost like layers. You can open it up really easily like that and run wiring and stuff around. Um, to cut it, you use a traditional knife, just like a utility knife. Uh, for the Roxol, you get a fancy bread knife. And this is a fancy Roxel bread knife, uh, cheapy, and it works really well. So I'll show you cutting it as well. So basically you're putting it in the same way. You put the top and bottom in, you try to make it nice and light, kind of, you know, put it in like that. The fiberglass, I find this, this one's a little tight. I didn't actually insulate this. This was existing. <laughs> so that one is actually too long. You can see by the folds in it, but anyway. Um, so yeah, you install it basically the same way. Your cutting is different. With the, uh, the rock, so you just want to be, I usually make it just an inch longer than the cavity I'm going to fill. All right, so an inch wider, an inch longer, and that, uh, that generally fits quite nicely. It should fit somewhat tight, and uh, anyway, yeah, it's, it's just a nice product to work with. I really like it. Now, the difference in price. This is why people buy the fiberglass pink. It's roughly twice as much. So you've got an R12 value versus an R14, so a little bit more uh, R value to it, but the cost almost double, all right? So it's a big difference. So if you're gonna do like a large house, all of a sudden you're doubling the cost just of the insulation. Your labor stays the same, but the insulation increases. So you know, you might want to consider getting into like a spray foam or something at that point, you know, which is even more expensive, but, you know, how far off is it? So, something to consider. Now, there's a couple of different advantages. The rock sole doesn't get wet. Well, it, it can get wet, but it doesn't absorb moisture. Um, it blocks air movement better. And it's supposed to be fireproof, and we're going to test that. We're going to see the difference between the two. So, uh, yeah. So first I'm going to cut it, and then I'm going to light it on fire. Outside, of course, not in here. So if you're going to cut the fiberglass pink, you kind of have to push down on it, and then you just cut it with your knife. It cuts really easily. It makes a nice cut. Good stuff. So, once again, it is a good product. I just like the Roxel better. Roxel... Can you cut it with a knife? I think you can. That seems to work just fine. But they include the uh, a bread knife. And you just cut it like this with the bread knife. That works really nicely too. So just something different. The nice thing about using the bread knife is if you wanted to cut like an electrical box out. You know, try doing that with fiberglass paint. You can. So that's pretty cool. All right, so here's the test. We're going to see if it's actually fireproof. And. Well, it doesn't really catch on fire, it kind of shrinks. Is that better? Yeah. Kind of shrinks away. That's pretty impressive though. We'll go on an angle there. Yeah, so that's something that you might want in your house just in case of a fire. And uh, that way, you know, you don't have to worry about it going up in smoke. Now let's try the fiberglass pink. What's that going to look like? 
well. Melts a hole in it pretty quickly. It doesn't go up too bad though. I'm impressed. It smells terrible. Well, I'm impressed with the performance of the fiberglass, actually. Now, obviously, look at the difference between the two, and we have a clear winner. But, <laughs> overall, I expected the fiberglass to light right up, but it didn't, which is good. But the uh, clear winner is the Roxel.